Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Naif and today is going to be a bit of an oddball video and this is going to be about the AMD software. The specifically AMD, uh, I think it's called the Adrenaline. It's the newest AMD software. Um, this is not a version. This is not version specific. This is only for the versions of AMD Relive where you can actually use the... Um, or AMD Adrenaline, where you can use the Relive feature. And this has to do with people having more than one monitor. So this is, this video is meant for people with more than one monitor. So it can be one TV and one monitor. It could be two monitors, three monitors, four monitors, five monitors. And this revolves around how AMD's Relive capture, or instant replay and recording, does not capture the correct screen. So if you hit your keybinds to screenshot something, it'll screenshot the wrong screen um, with AMD graphics cards. Well, this is the video for you. So I actually pre-recorded this, so I'm talking as this is going. So to just show you what I mean, is we're gonna start off with looking at our, our AMD um, our AMD software, so it's a little bit blurry, but please bear with it. I was recording in the middle of the night. If you can see over here, this box right here, this is the instant replay feature. This is instant replay specific, like this video will be instant replay specific. Um, so just keep that in mind. So this is instant replay right here and it's disabled. Not only that, it is also on the wrong screen. It's on the screen to my left, which if you guys don't know, wherever this window is, whatever screen this window appears on will be the screen that it records. So that is actually very important. You want to make sure that this window, the one that's here that shows all the settings in the AMD Adrenaline software, you want to make sure that's on your main monitor. So if you're playing video games and you want to instant replay, it has to be on the monitor that you play your video games on. Very straightforward. So we're going to get on with moving on here. So I'm going to turn it on and you're going to see that it's it's instant replaying the wrong monitor. So now I'm just going to let it go. So I'm going to move the display over to my main monitor and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn the instant replay off. And I have to wait for the animation of the little text box on the top right corner of your screen where it says, um, or I just showed you where it's it said instant replay on. You have to wait for that text box to completely fade out. And then when you click it again, you have to you have to wait for it to turn back on. So in this in this scenario here, I'm, I'm going to turn it off. On my other screen, you're probably not going to see it. It's going to say instant replay off. So I'll just continue and I'll show you guys what I mean. So I turned it off here. So it says it, it says it's, it says it's off here. And then when it completely fades, I wait a second. So it completely fades and then I turn it back on. And now it records, or now it's going to be whatever you instant replay, screenshot, so on. From the AMD software, it's going to be coming out from here on the main monitor, the monitor it's supposed to come out of. As you guys can see, instant replay on. Now I do recommend, now I do recommend when you use the instant replay feature, if you have a medium end to high end graphics card that supports the relive feature, I suggest going with at least 60 bit rate or whatever it says on there. 60, I believe it is. But if you can go higher, the higher, the better, the more clear the image. Now keep in mind that it will strain your computer. If you have a lower end graphics card that still supports it, if you go higher than 60, yes, it won't look as clear. I mean, it'll look clear, but um, it'll probably lag your computer. So you want to be careful with that. You want to test it out first and you want to make sure that wherever the recording path or wherever the path is that the uh, clips go to, 
by default, it should be into your videos relive drive in your C drive. So for those of you that don't know where to find where your AMD stuff goes to by default, um, what you can do is you can always check the software and then you, you go right here and you click on this thingy. It'll open up here and it'll say videos relive. So that means it says this PC videos and relive. So this PC usually means C drive or whatever your Windows boot drive is. Unless you've changed this, it should be like this by default. So that means you want to go to this PC. You don't need to click on this PC. You could literally just open up file, C drive. Actually, no, not even C drive. You, you literally click on the word videos and then relive. And it should be right here. It's going to take a second to load. There you go. It should, yeah, there you go. So it takes a second to load. And literally, that's how you find it. Very simple, very straightforward. And, um... Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope it helped you out. Leave a comment if it did. Feel free to share it with a friend that needs this, that has has been having trouble with AMD. But without further ado, good night, good morning, and goodbye.